Welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day and a fantastic new year. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add animations to your Wix website like a pro. If you don't know what animations are, if you click on certain elements on your website, you're going to see a little icon here that says animation. When you click that, a little box is going to pop up with several different animation options. However, some of them that they give you is very distracting. And you probably don't want to use most of these because they're just going to distract your users from the journey on your website. Animations can help make your website look professional, but if you choose all the crazy ones, then you're just going to make your website look less professional in the end. So instead of having your websites look crazy like this, I'm gonna show you how to add animations to look professional. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select this container box back here. I'm gonna add an animation to it. And instead of going to all the crazy ones, I'm just gonna choose a subtle one like fade in. I probably use the fade in animation probably 80% of the time. It's super subtle, but when your users notice it, they're gonna think that your website looks awesome. The next thing what you can do is you can grab a repeater item or container, press animations, and instead of fade in, let's do float in. So as you can see, it's gonna kind of fade in and come from some sort of direction. So if we click that, we can also press customize. We can change the direction in which it's floating in from. For this case, let's go ahead and set it to bottom. If we scroll down to the contact form at the bottom, I kind of want to animate or fade in this header. So we're gonna press animations and just click fade in. Then for this Wix form, we're also going to have it float in and then we're gonna customize it and set it to the bottom. Okay, and as you may have noticed, we used fade in here, we used float in here, we used fade in and float in. I would definitely say to keep your website not only professional but consistent, just use one to two different animations max on your website. But now if we preview the website, you're gonna see it looks really professional. And if we view the other example, you're gonna notice it looks way better than this one. Now let's do another page. For this example, let's say it's an about page, I'd probably here I would just add a fade in for the name if you wanted to, you could also add a fade in for this title. However, what I want to do is just kind of grab this big body of text and I'm gonna have it float in from the bottom. And as I'm scrolling down, you're gonna notice I'm not animating every single thing. Not only would that cause my website to slow down in the load speed, but if everything is fading in or animating in in some sort of way, then it's just distracting. So I'm only animating maybe one to two things per section. So for this top section, we animated this header text. For this section right down here, we animated the body text. And then now let's do the work experience. Now this one is gonna have a little bit more animation, but let me show you why. The first thing I actually want to animate is this line. We're gonna click animation, and for this one, we're actually gonna go down to reveal and we're gonna have it reveal from the top. So ideally, it's going to start from the top and go down to the bottom, which that looks really nice. The next thing I'm gonna do is click on each of these icons right here. We're just gonna fade this one in, and we're gonna click the second one. We're gonna click fade in again. However, this one, we're gonna set a 0.2 delay to it. And then we're gonna grab this last one right down here. We're gonna set it to fade, customize, and we're gonna add a 0.4 delay. So now if we preview the website, you should see that the line is going down and these little dots are fading in. So now what I want to do is grab these text elements and just fade these in. Just like we did with the dots, I'm gonna add the delay to the ones closer to the bottom. So now when we preview the website, then the dots are gonna appear and the, all of the text is gonna appear with their dot. Okay, so now if we preview the page, we're gonna notice this fade in. This is gonna fade in from the bottom. And if we keep scrolling, we're gonna get this nice effect. Now I know I told you before to keep your animations to a minimum, but for this section in particular, it's kind of more of a graphic, an infographic. So for infographics, it is okay to animate more than one or two items. And while we're on the topic of infographics, I wanna show you how to add an animation to something like this. The first thing I want to do is animate this background dotted line circle. So I'm just gonna grab that circle, 
I'm gonna press animate. And we just kind of choose one that's gonna be a little bit more subtle. For this example, I'm just gonna choose fade in. The reason I'm choosing fade in for the circle is because I am gonna add some more artistic ones over to these other circles right here. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a fade in to this text right here. But now let's go ahead and grab these blue circles. For this one right here, let's go ahead and do something kind of crazy, but not too crazy. I kind of like this flip in one. You can do expand, that would look really nice. But let's just choose flip in. Next, let's grab this other one right here. We're gonna do flip in, customize and delay it by 0.2. Grab the third icon, flip in and delay it by 0.4. And we're just gonna go around the full circle and keep delaying them by 0.2. And once you're done adding all the animations and we press preview, this is what we're gonna see. So as you can see, there are use cases for using some of the more distracting, crazier animations. However, of course, you need to use them at a minimum. You can't use this for every single item on your page. It just worked for this specific infographic. So if you are gonna use crazy animations, one, keep it to a bare minimum, and two, make sure that that animation actually has a purpose and you're not just adding an animation to have it animate. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, please consider giving that video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.